Shiba Inu is being sent to dead wallets. This is Shiba Inu tokens being sent to dead wallets, cold storage, by the millions every single day. Is this a bad thing? Is this a doom and gloom? Are we, oh my God, we should jump off the proverbial ship into the middle of <laughs> ships on fire or whatever. We're going to talk about all that in this video. We'll take a look at the current price of SHIB, bone leash, and all that, and kind of the state of the union. So is this bad? Hmm. We're going to dissect that. Okay. So before I we do that, I want to give you real quick, this video is sponsored by my friends over at Grape. Registration link to this page down below. Check it out. Use it. You can buy Grape for 46 bucks. It's trading at 190 over on BitMart right now. You can get up to 60, 70 plus percent bonus to coins and tokens. So you put a thousand in, it's basically like almost $700 additional bonus they give you. They give you 20% APY staking. Uh, and they ask that you hold for 120 days if you buy at this level. You can see I have bought some and I am holding. I think that this is one of those that's going to be a big, big deal. By the way, there's only 10 million grape tokens. Uh, that's less than Bitcoin out there. So with that said, thank you, Grape, for sponsoring the video. Okay, so hey, look, is millions of SHIB being sent to dead wallets a bad thing? The short answer is no. What happens here is that if you didn't know this, there's this thing called outflow. So what outflow and there's inflow outflow is when you start to see coins and tokens moving off of centralized exchange, going to wallets like MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Ledger, whatever it may be. Um, and and then basically, you know, your coins, your tokens, right, control your own keys. But effectively, when you move coins and tokens off of an exchange and you send them to a dead wallet or whatever it may be, people are holding. That's what it comes down to. So this is a good thing. This is not bad, okay? Just want to let you know that because you didn't know. It sounds kind of contradictory, but when you think about it, most people sell their Shiba Inu, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, whatever. Most people sell it on a centralized exchange like Coinbase, Crypto.com, you know, Binance, whatever it may be, right? So that's, when, so that's why, that's how the situation looks. Okay, so that's what's going on right there. So I was looking at XRP before I made this video, so it's actually moving up just a little bit. Um, but real quickly, oh, come on. Why is it? Okay. All right, let me get, all right, come on, internet. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, so you can see right here that, well, when, if, I think my internet's acting a little funky right now. Okay, where is SHIB? Okay, right there. So SHIB's down 5% on the 24 hour. It's right here. Okay, is this a bad thing? No, this is a, this is a sell off a little bit from the, you know, 18, 16, 18% we had move up over the last 36 hours. So this is expected. I think the price of SHIB is going to continue to go up as we get to closer Shibarium. We're basically 10 days out from that. So we had Bone do the exact same thing. Um, you know, it, it ran up in the last 36 hours. And now right here, you can see that it's down, uh, down about 8% on the one day. And Leash is down as well. Let me show you this. So we've got profit taking going on. Leash is down 10% on the one day as well. Okay. So again, I'm not too worried about this. Um, this, you know, the price movement, again, we're going to have movement going up to the launch of Shibari. And remember, so I'm going to call it again, the price of Bone Leash uh, and Do and I keep saying Doge and Shiba Inu. You know why I keep saying Doge? I did this on a video earlier. It's because of that. I see that word Doge killer and then I got Doge in my brain. That's what it is. OK, so the price of Leash, Bone and Shiba Inu. There you go. Um, I think we're going to see them go up. As we get closer to Shibarium, but I'm going to call it again. When Shibarium launches, we're going to see a sell-off a little bit. We're going to see profit-taking. It's happened time and time and time and time again. Is that a bad thing? No, you're going to have people taking profits. We all should be taking profits on any and all crypto along the way, depending upon whatever your profit plan is, okay? So just a little public service announcement. All right, so that's what I got. I'll see you. Go make some money.